So I really enjoyed the conference today. It was a fantastic mix of uh, input from patients who have uh, uh, managed to quit smoking themselves, uh, to clinicians who are helping them, uh, to policymakers who are trying to assist the environment for clinicians, but also learning from international colleagues um, who had many lessons for us all uh, in those talks. I loved the conference today. I loved being back out in the community with people, seeing them face to face for such a long time instead of through Zoom. The information that I gathered from other people is going to help me be a better community facilitator in the long run and it was lovely to be able to talk about the Week and Quit programme as a speaker. The conference today was actually quite inspiring to hear of um, all the work that's being done and also the, the, the goal of having um, that 5% by 2025. Um, what I particularly stood out for me, I mean it was all fantastic, but was the um, the lady story who is now a Week and Quit facilitator and hearing how she started, how she was so doubtful that she could give up smoking and now look at her, you know, a facilitator who's supporting other women and men now to actually quit and stay quit. That was so inspiring, was really inspirational and she was so easy to listen to because it was her story. I took a lot away from the conference. I've been involved with the Tobacco Patrol for maybe 20 years on the enforcement side, which is a side that the public don't see but we're building compliance all the time. And I got re-energised today by what was said. You know, there's more than just us on the pitch when we're here at the Aviva Stadium and the vision that we have for a Tobacco Free Island or um, tobacco free generation, the end game, is shared by others and uh, we have some ideas to add to the, to the whole debate. The conference today was absolutely brilliant. Um, I have to say that, that I found out a great deal that I didn't know before, for starters, um, but I also have to say that the, the programmes within New Zealand especially and how they can be transferred to working within communities, um, particularly areas of high deprivation within Ireland, um, I think that there's a really good uh, programme of work that can be done there but the healthy communities is certainly already doing and planning to do a huge amount of that we're only at the beginning the end game is a way away but i think that the healthy communities launch care program is just perfect for doing that grassroots on the ground work with people it was fantastic it's absolutely wonderful to see so many new faces you know and so many people come together where we all have the same goal um, I think it was wonderful to hear from people who have you know, a long history working um, in tobacco control and also to really look at the end game and it's exciting to see where, where we're going to go in terms of the tobacco end game and really creating a tobacco free environment.